On November 27, the member congregations of the Canadian Unitarian Council will vote on a proposed resolution to add an eighth principle to our purposes and principles. The resolution states, we, the member congregations of the Canadian Unitarian Council, covenant to affirm and promote individual and communal action that accountably dismantles racism and other oppressions in ourselves and in our institutions. A word from our young adults. Hi everyone, my name is Kate Clark. My pronouns are she, her, and I'm a part of church leadership at the Unitarian Church of Montreal. The video that you are about to watch is a small representation of youth and young adults across the Canadian Unitarian Council. We met over the summer, but September is also a very busy time of year for us. A lot of folks are starting school or in times of transition. With acknowledgement of this time, we still wanted to communicate or get across to uh, the greater community of UUs to show how passionate we are about the Eighth Principle. Thank you very much for watching this. Hello, my name is Camelia Jahanshahi. I am a lifelong UU and currently work at the Unitarian Church of Montreal, though you may have seen me in other spaces around the UU world, both here in Canada and in the United States before. Hello everyone, my name is Ashley and I wanted to share with you briefly my reflections on the proposed Eighth Principle. Hi, my name is Alara Stefaniuk Gaudet and my pronouns are they and them. I'm when I think about the Eighth Principle, I think about relief. Relief because I am exhausted. I am exhausted because I am a mixed person of color in a predominantly white space who has, for my entire life, been fighting for more diversity and inclusion and compassionate nuance around BIPOC issues in our UU worlds. As I have to continuously explain why it's important to protect and uplift and make a commitment towards anti-racism and anti-oppressive opinions, ideologies, and policies within this faith. I'm fully supportive of the Eighth Principle. I do hope it passes in November, um, but I have a lot of apprehension about the amount of time and energy that's been focused specifically around the Eighth Principle and really hoping that regardless of what happens in November, we move beyond um, just that piece, that there are other recommendations that the Dismantling Racism Study Group report um, suggested. And then also, you know, just like that individual congregations are sort of um, assessing and analyzing where we can all um, do some of this work. I grew up in this faith and as much as I love it and as much as I am passionately committed to the beautiful possibilities of our faith, I'm also tired and I started to get tired much, much sooner than I should have. You know, I was tired when I was 12 and explaining that I don't know why people in my culture are angry. I know why I'm angry. <laughs> um, if we, a predominantly white community, are not creating a space where POC feel welcome comfortable and supported, then how can we justifiably borrow spiritual practices from those same communities uh, without a commitment to dismantle racism in ourselves and racist structures within the UU community? Is our religion not simply founded on cultural appropriation and exploitation? Unitarian Universalism is a live, living tradition. Um, 
over the last year, I've learned a lot about how the first seven principles came to be, um, what some of the tensions and conversations and processes were for those to become the principles that we currently have. Um, and it inspires me that uh, this tradition is uniquely situated to be self-reflective, to be adaptive, to continue to better ourselves and be the best versions of ourselves that we can be. Um, and I, I think that's true for, for this um, this area of work as well. I'm contributing to this video today because I very strongly believe that there is no justice in silence and that the eighth principle is one way that we can collectively raise our voices as a beginning step to speak against the silence that comes with racism. Since I've read it, it sort of stuck with me from the Dismantling Racism Study Group report about the gap between who we say we are uh, with our Unitarian Universalist uh, principles and the lived experience of everyone entering into our doors. Um, and so I think my apprehension is that uh, even if the eighth principle is uh, included and we have that on our signage, on our websites, in our welcomes and introductions, um, it's all well and fine and and until it's not an actually lived experience for somebody and somebody comes into our congregation expecting that and um, is let down or disappointed so i do really hope that congregations take this opportunity to really say and then what what's next how do we do this work i'm grateful for you listening to this video and for you taking the words of our youth and young adult communities seriously as we advocate for the adoption of this new principle and for our faith movement to walk forward or move forward in the direction of social progress as we have in the past in other movements that we've seen led by youth, young adults, and marginalized or BIPOC people within our communities. Just holding you all in love and compassion um, and uh, looking forward to connecting over the next weeks, months, and years. So thank you for listening and I hope that hearing these voices helps you move forward with us.